Hi there everyone, it's Jeanette from Enthusiastic Gardener. All week I've been sitting in the office thinking about this little area here. It's my secret shady corner. It's completely full shade because of all these trees all the way around. Doesn't even get dappled sun, nothing. It's going to be a little magical secret corner. And you may remember we had box tree all the way along there and all the way down there and it lined this pathway all the way to my secret garden illusion gate which I thought looked very pretty but we had to take the boxes out because I suffered so much with box tree moth, box tree caterpillar. I had pheromone traps I was spraying them for quite a number of years and in the end I thought I cannot do this anymore. It's too much, gardening should be fun. So unfortunately, they're gone. That was around autumn last year. But if we have a look at this gate, I love this gate because it brings light to this corner. It brings a bit of interest. And I think it gives a reason to come up to this corner. So what I'm going to do is still have the row of stepping stones leading up to that because I cannot think of a better thing to do. I do have more stepping stones and then I have to clear the whole area, get rid of all these plants while keeping the apple tree. I asked you all about the apple tree last week and people saying give it time Jeanette, you need patience. Patience is not one of my virtues but I'm going to listen. So that is staying. This is staying, my Euonymus. And someone else said to me, why don't you take it out and move it? The only problem with that is, it's been here probably as long as the bungalow. It's probably, it was a huge big bush and I gradually took bits away and made it into a standard and I'm very fond of it. So what I'm going to do is, I am going to make this into my secret little hideaway. I'm going to put a seat here and it's going to be around about here, back a tiny bit. Because if I sit down here, I love this view of the garden. I think it's tucked away and all this bit here is going to be hopefully covered in plants. So it is going to be a tucked away little corner. That's what I'm hoping. So I do have more stepping stones over by my secret shed. Have you seen my secret shed? Let me show you. Come on, down here. This is my secret shed. It's just a little area of nothingness. So Richard put a shed in for me. Tiny little shed, but I can keep all my big tools, all my bits and pieces. It's fantastic. But down here, I have six more stepping stones. I have one more of the bigger ones. And here I keep all my containers and things for the winter. And I also have these stepping stones which I can use because I did put them here, they go round the fatsia. They were supposed to be for the dogs to wander around because I'm taking away more and more of their little pathways. I thought that would be a good little spot that they don't ever use it. So I have another 12 in total. I have six here, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think I'm going to leave two there because that will help me get my access to my washing line hook. You have to think of all these things. Oh, and I do have this one as well. This one I put here because that's where one of my container things goes and I wanted to make sure that I didn't plant bulbs there by mistake. Job 
is I'm going to dig up everything that needs to be moved and I'm just going to put them in pots for the moment because I know what will happen if I start deciding where these will go now and digging holes and uh, it's a knock-on effect I'm sure you know what I mean and I'll never get this done so I'm going to just put them in pots So this is a Gunnera manicata and it has actually survived the whole winter here in this dark spot. So it's done very, very well. I'm just going to put it in this pot, put it in some sunshine, give it a little bit of love. and then decide what's happening to it. It's got lots of new little shoots, which is very nice. So I think it will be happier somewhere else. It's gonna be happier. I'll give it a good water. That's the first one. Next one is this. And I don't even know what it is, to be quite honest with you. Get some more soil around the edges. Once it's watered in, hopefully, any air pockets will disappear. Thank you. Richard just told me that he's made egg and bacon, which will be on the table in 30 seconds. So I'm going to eat that. And I'll be back. A little different than all the rest. I'm quite old fashioned, wear a hat, sometimes play chess. And when I'm out, I'm looking for. seats going the four legs will go in the center of each of these now they are very uneven so they need to be level so that the chair doesn't rock and so that it will look aesthetically pleasing so I'm just going to spend a bit of time getting this level then I will come back to you these actually don't look level but they are we are nearly there just need to put the rest in Let's stick it on time lapse. Let's get it over with. my imaginary seat and then I still have those up to the gate I have all this area here to plant which is exciting it's a full shade area and there are still a lot of options there are beautiful things like hostas although slugs adore hostas in my garden I have a huge slug population they consider my garden is their own personal five-star salad bar. 
but apparently the hostas such as the great big leaves that kind of blue and extra extra thick they don't like those plus they're a good colour for shade so there's those obviously hookahs who doesn't love a hookara beautiful beautiful colours they happy in shade then we have ferns I've never had a fern I've been looking at ferns that's good I have caladium bulbs for the first time which I haven't planted out yet but they are going to go in those containers along there that's going to be lovely I also have an elephants here although I'm not so sure that does shade so there are lots of things not every plant grows everywhere right plant right place and it will be happy so I'm so pleased that I've got this done and thank you so much for watching next week you can see Richard doing the chair building process which is very exciting and uh, thank you for watching have fun in your gardens Easter soon a few extra days off work thanks for watching bye